Hello, Mirror here with the next Elix video. So in this one, I will show you how you can get Red's Claw and also how you can use that claw to enter Claw's uh, guild beneath the Dome City. For well, first of all, uh, to do this, you will have to get to Tavar and uh, then uh, there is one quest chain that will, uh, at the end, uh, will do some quest for Red and Red will give us his claw. But first of all, we need to pick up uh, the quest for these three cover seers from William. Well, excellent. Another desert fly landing here thinking he's found something for free. You're just lucky you aren't a berserker. I hate those forest rats. They're almost as much trouble as the clerics. I don't want anything for free. I'll earn it. I hope so. Not like those other factions. They think everything's free. Berserker, cleric. <laughs> They're both trying to squeeze us out of Tavar. They want to take us out. One needs men and the other wants our land. Who wants your men? The clerics are short of new recruits. Didn't you know that? But they can forget getting them from here. They're not getting a single man while I'm here to stop them. I am William. I am the Duke's cousin. The Duke is in charge around here, and I'm gonna make sure he stays in charge. We are outlaws. Okay, so I recommend you ask about everything, but for now I will just go with the, the last question here. Are you sure you have everything under control here? Only an idiot thinks they have complete control of anything. This is about stopping all the little crises becoming big ones. And I have one small crisis that I can use an outsider to solve. What do you need my help for? I need someone who isn't on the radar when it comes to the district overseers. Some of them are pissed about something. I need someone to deal with that. Okay, so we got uh, the quest. Uh, this is interesting. We should have the quest, but let's continue talking. About these district overseers. Who are they? There's Big Jim. He's in charge of the arena. Chloe, she manages the entertainment district. Then there's Mad Bob. He calls himself the Scrap Baron, and you'd better call him that. People don't call him Mad Bob to his face. Ever. And there's Blake. He takes care of things that need taken care of. They've all earned their place, all proven themselves loyal. But they all have their little problems, and they all want more. Okay, so uh, the district overseer that we are inst interested is Chloe. So I will just... Uh let you know what there is but i will quickly skip through other conversations tell me about chloe chloe owns her cut of the takings that's not like her to skip paying her tribute she knows she's lucky to have the position she has so i need an outsider to make her pay up it's a little more diplomatic coming from someone from the outside and i need someone who isn't scared chloe will shut them out of the entertainment district ask her for the shards and find out why she's not been paying if you can't manage that, at least make sure she pays her outstanding debts. Okay, so I will quickly skip through other. Okay, so we have to go with this one now. I will look into the problems you're having. That's what I wanted to hear. I run things for the Duke. Get things to move along more smoothly? Well, the Duke doesn't forget people who show him loyalty. Let me know how things go. Okay, so I will quickly go through these conversations. Like, uh, it's not important, but... Kinda... I okay, so we're done. Uh, like I tried to do this quest, uh, this my second or recording since the first time I thought I had a quest and now uh, I got to Chloe and yeah, I, don't I didn't know. have do it I? because yeah, I have down. had to speak, finish the conversation to the end. So now all the conversations are gone, so it should work this time. So we have to go to Chloe and then uh, from there she will... Um, Tell, tell us to go to Red, so we'll uh, 
by the end of this quest chain, we'll have Rat's Claw. That is what's important. So let's speak to Chloe. What the fuck are you looking at? Buy a drink, get a life, or get the fuck out of here. All right? Uh, be straightforward with her. That uh, works the best. All right. All right? Just like that. No bleeding? No grumbling? Well, isn't that a rare thing? All right, come on. Who are you and what do you want? And now we can uh, say that William sent us. William sent me. What do you want? You're not here to collect the Duke's tribute, are you? Good guess. That's exactly what I'm here for. It was no guess. It's years of practice. Let's see if you can do the same. Guess what I'm thinking. Is it A, no chance, B, not a chance in hell, or C, there's really not a chance in hell? Damn it. If you're really set on collecting something, then go and see Rat. He owes me, so you can get my payments from him. Okay, so I think I have combat for this. Give me the shards, or I will take them. All a fight is gonna get you is enemies. It's not just that I don't want to pay, it's that I don't have a shard to pay you. I have nothing at all right now. Here, I've got enough of this I can give you. But if you want Alexit, go to Rat. He has a huge tab open here. You can collect it, and then everyone will be happy, okay? Okay, so hey, we need to go right. to Rat now. I call that dangerous half -mode. He's close, close by here. Like this is probably the biggest quest chain to do to get uh, into close hideout. But for the lore's sake, I mean, I'm going to show you all the ways you can uh, enter there. Hey, you. Do you have a few shards for me? How can we trust you not to squander it? Squander? Now there's a word that sits in judgment. It hurts to be judged. Please make recompense for the injury your friend has done me and loan a fellow a few shards. Okay, so let's give me give him a shard. Sure. Here. Thank you, my friend. Because sometimes friendships can be bought. And in Tavar, you need friends to help you. To help you up. To stay alive. Doubly so in times like these because, oh, times are a-changing. And when the rats leave this sinking ship, this rat will plug the holes and take the whole damn boat. And then you'll really want this rat as your friend. Excellent. Okay, so... Let's say that Chloe... Chloe says you owe her Alexit. And she sent you to collect them? Yes. Well, my friend, I have some good and some bad news. Which do you want first? The good news. Ah, an optimist. You are hoping that the bad news won't be as bad after you've heard the good news. Interesting. Well, the good news is that I can help you get the shards you want. In fact, I know where we can get enough to settle my debt and more. The bad news is this is the only way I can think of for getting the shards you want. I am shardless except for the few that I got from you and those won't cover Chloe's bill. But I wouldn't be rat if I didn't already have a plan. The plan, on the other hand, is part of the bad news, my friend. How so? So this is how I see it. Chloe runs the entertainment district, so there's no way she's not pulling in a lot of Lexit, right? So her being broke doesn't make sense. Unless someone's got hooks into her. So, I did some digging, and it seems she's run up a real debt with the Duke. Now, the Duke doesn't normally do debts. He's more the, you owe me, pay now or die, kind of guy. But it seems he's cutting her some slack. As long as the debt's kept quiet. You with me so far? How does this help us? Okay, okay, okay. So this is just the background. You see, I did some more digging, and the thing is, Chloe isn't broke. She might not have Alexit, but she's got her a stash, a treasure trove of gems and jewelry, stuff she keeps as an emergency fund. And you want to rob her? Rob is such an ugly word. What I want is to redistribute her hidden wealth to everyone's advantage. I know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who will pay a handsome sum for the treasure trove Chloe's hidden in her cellar. 
So you see, as luck would have it for you, me, and her, the rat has already started working on a plan to untangle this whole mess. You see, I have the key to her hidden stash. So, we just need to get in, get the stash, get out, sell everything, and suddenly, suddenly, you, me, Chloe, and the Duke, we all end up happy. Simple, huh? Well, that doesn't uh, seem to be simple. Okay, so let's uh, take... Uh, let's go and uh, steal that. Give me the key. I will get Chloe's stash. Good decision, my friend. Here, but be careful you don't get caught. We will pay her debts with her own valuables. And at the same time, I will be free of my debt. Can you go over the plan again? I keep Chloe busy. You get into the cellar under the bar. The stuff we're after is in a trunk somewhere down there. You get in, you get out. The rat takes care of the rest. Are you ready? Sure. Then let's get going. I'll distract Chloe so you get a straight, clear run to the cellar, right? Me turning up? Well, we have a chemistry, me and her. I only have to walk into a room and she's instantly pissed at me. But that does mean you won't have long before her being mildly annoyed moves to me being thrown out. So be stealthy and be quick. If you miss that opportunity, well, then you'll have to figure out how to do this yourself, okay? What do you want? What do you want, Rat? Okay, so we have to go underneath here and to the basement, and here's the chest. There! There he is! That guy's trying to steal your stuff! Hey, what do you think you're doing? You think you can steal from me? Give that here! And you can get out too, Rat! What the fuck do you think you're doing down here? Rat double crossed me. I'll kill that pig. This is my place. I decide what happens here, as you're gonna find out. You're brave enough to steal. Are you brave enough to fight? Okay, so uh, to actually skip uh, fighting, you will need uh, combat or charisma. Or you will have to go through uh, the answers here and you will end up paying her or fighting her. Is there another way we can sort this out? Another way? Okay, a thousand. Then we're square. That's your way out. So, what'll it be? Okay, so I wanted to show you that you can uh, pay up if you get here or you can you need combat or uh, charisma, so watch out for that. And uh, I was, if you remember, I was checking if I have... Uh, I opened uh, my inventory quickly when we were at rats. I want to see if I have shards for this. Okay, so here you go. Here are your shards. Good. Consider a square. Debt cleared. Just don't be an asshole again, please. Do what you want with rat. I canceled his debts when he blew the whistle on you. Mostly because he'd never have paid up anyway. So if you decided to beat the shit out of him, at least he'll get some of the payback he deserves. Now both of you can get out of here. You really messed up there. Okay, so, uh, kinda, I really think that uh, it's better to get charisma or combat or and don't spend a thousand shards because you can use those shards to train or to get to craft potions or something. So, yeah, uh, for this quest, make sure you have a uh, combat or charisma, but you can go with paying if you want. But I'm kinda... I do not like to spend shards on that kind of stuff. So let's speak to Rat again. Wait, 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 before you do anything hasty. Yeah, I told Chloe you wanted to rob her, and you have every reason to hate me. I mean, we're friends and I did that, but there is an explanation, okay? Talk fast. Why did you betray me? Oh, it's great that you decided to talk. That's the sign of a keen mind. And keen minds see opportunity. Just, just let me explain, friend. I didn't give you up for nothing. 
It was advantageous for both of us that I told her. Advantageous? How? I have Chloe's trust again. Well, I mean, she doesn't completely hate me anymore, which is beneficial. Chloe's treasure trove would never have covered her debt to the Duke. And if you can't pay him, the Duke owns you. I mean, technically, the Duke owns everyone in the fort, but you don't want to owe him too. So what we need to do is work out where Chloe's Alexit is going and why. Then we can help her, you and me. The old rat doesn't do things by halves. Don't ever do anything behind my back again. I won't, my friend. That's my point. We're all in this together. The rat always has a plan. But to get the best plan, I need to know the facts. I will work on Chloe. Come back in one or two days. You'll find me in Chloe's bar. I should know more by then. Trust in the rat, my friend. Okay, so let's find a bed and uh, sleep for two days and then we can speak to Rat again. There should be a bed here. So like if you're doing the quest to uh, join uh, the outlaws, this won't be too hard to do. Since it's along the way, you need to do it anyway. But if you're doing for the other factions, well, leave yeah. your hands where I can see them. You can uh, just enter through the Dome City, or you can uh, do the Katas Claw. Yes, the plan is forming. And Chloe's finally opening up. It just took a little time to get through to her, and then some drink to get her talking. Just tell me the plan, Rat. Okay. So the truth is this. Chloe is being forced to pay protection money. She can't pay the Duke or anyone else because she's already being bled dry. Hmm, we shouldn't talk here. Walk with me a moment. Let's go talk outside. Follow me and try not to get noticed. Okay, go ahead. I don't want everybody to hear what I'm about to tell you. The situation isn't exactly safe for anyone involved. Come on, let's get somewhere we can talk. Okay, I don't think anyone will overhear us here. So, this is what I've learned. A guy called Blake is behind this. He's forcing Chloe to pay protection money. I assume you already have a plan. I wouldn't be rad if I didn't, right? Before we go any further, let me make one thing clear. Under no circumstances should you speak to Blake. If you approach him now, I've got no doubt he'd back off and leave Chloe alone. But that would just mean he'd just come back later when he thought things had blown over. We need to force him to forget about the protection money for good. Otherwise, what's the point? Sorry, I hit, hit the mic there. So, what's the plan? We should focus on Blake. Despite all his influence, he's been going through bodyguards. Three of them have died in the last two months, but if anybody knows why, nobody is saying. We need to go through his things and find out why. There has to be some dirt there and we can use it. We just need some hint. Then we can sort all this out to our benefit. Chloe gets freed from Blake and we get the shards we need. Okay, I'll look for the proof at Blake's house. Follow the rat's plan and you'll come out ahead, my friend. Look through Blake's stuff and come back to me when you've found something. Then we'll figure out the next step. I am going back to Chloe's bar. I'll see you there. Okay, so let's uh, use the teleporter to Duke's bunker. And from there we are, go we are going to go to Blake's. <laughs> Now, if you want, you can actually speak to Blake uh, and do... He will have one quest for you, but just do not mention uh, that uh, you know about Chloe and uh, that he's asking for protection money. But I won't speak to him now. 
I'll just go in and uh, there should be some like letter list of names and you just grab that and go to rat okay we, we can use the teleporter i mean just to save up some time Okay, so the red, the red is uh, at Chloe's bar. I found this list at Blake's. A list? All right, let's see if it's anything useful. Hmm, I'm guessing it's a list of names, but with this writing, Bodhi, Gerds, Aaron. Iron Ma Madison. Ah, oh, Iron Madison. Ryan. Re Re Ryan. You know, whoever wrote this can't spell. Well, this seems to be a list of candidates for bodyguards for Blake. That idiot Cameron must have written this before he was killed. Okay, then it's clear what we have to do. We should kill Ryan. What? No! Why would we... You know, that idea isn't so dumb at all. Hmm. Yeah, that could actually work. If Blake's latest bodyguard Ryan was to die or quit, the names on this list would be candidates to replace him. So, we should change the name on the top. Then, we put the list back and give Blake a reason to hire someone new. By we kill him, you mean you want me to kill him? That's why I like you, friend. You can see how a plan works. You take care of Ryan, and I'll take his place. After I've written my name on top of the list, I'll put it back in Blake's place. You take care of Ryan in the meantime. The idiot prides himself on being loyal, so chances are you'll have to kill him. Trying to persuade him might just mean he speaks to Blake, and then our chances will be blown. Got it? Yes. Okay, then go. You take care of Ryan and I'll become Blake's new bodyguard. Then, we will find out what's going on. See you up at Blake's. Okay, so we have to find Ryan. He's uh, right in front of uh, the city. From here. Okay, so I will use... Uh, I will fly over here. So I do not go through gate and speak, need to speak to guard. Just to kind of skip that. And don't forget to hit F5 since you will have to fight him. Now you can uh, actually fight him or if you are kinda not good with combat you can just grab grenades and uh, put them on like to detonate right away and just spam the grenades. And I will say uh, to Duras uh, to go away since he will get in uh, my way. So let's speak to Ren. So fuck off will you yeah? We have common. I'm trying to talk to you. All right, all right. I've just been having a bad day. Don't make it worse. What do you want from me? I thought about it. I'm going to punch you in the face. I told you I'm out here on a break. This is the last shit I need on my time off. I'll get you. Okay, so you can uh, grab grenades and like kill yourself. <laughs> I'm leaving this, I'm not going to cut that out of the video. So I should have so uh, uh, like run what further away. I, I, I'll get you! So if you are going to use grenades, run further away or just use your weapon. The shields, the shields are really good for this since... <gasps> since you... You cannot get damaged, but you can also dodge. <laughs> and that kind of worked out. 
depending on what weapons you have. You can, of course, you, you don't even have to talk to him, you can just spam the grenades at him. That is always a good idea if you are kind of low level. If you, if you run out to Tavar to join outlaws and you're like really low level, this is the way to go about it. Just use grenades. And of course, try to get away from him when you throw. You can also put them on a timer so you do not blow yourself up or on... Uh, they, they can also detonate on proximity so you can spam them on some place and then like uh, taunt him to get to you and then you can kill them that way i mean think about something and just do it or you can just fight him normally okay so here's the rat ryan is dead right i've put my name on the list and got it in place it's going to be fishy if I turn up and tell Blake his bodyguard is dead. You had better do it. Won't Blake think it's strange? Me telling him about the bodyguard. What? You mean that he's dead? He might suspect I killed him. Yeah, so what if he does? People get killed in Tavar all the time. And he is pretty used to his bodyguards dying on him one after another. Just go to Blake and tell him you found Ryan's body. You could even suggest that he needs to get a new bodyguard. Sometimes he can be a little slow on the uptake. Right. Then come back and tell me when he knows about Ryan. Okay, so let's talk to Blake now. Hmm. I don't recognize your face. Are you with Bloody Baxter or Logan the Duke? So either way, we can pick uh, Baxter or Logan. So let's go with... Eh, doesn't matter. Who is Logan? You don't know who- Okay, so I should have just say... We can go with last one, I guess. I'm not with anyone. Really? No one? Well, as you're new here, then you should try and get the full picture. Don't take people's word for anything until you've got the facts, yeah? Life under Bloody Baxter's rule matched his name. It was bloody. The Duke with Nasty's helping him with planning. Well, they've changed things here. So, what do you want? Okay, so uh, we should just tell him about bodyguard. I found your bodyguard. What do you mean, found? He's dead. <laughs> I knew that guy wouldn't last. You know when you get that feeling that you're gonna have to find yourself another bodyguard? You'll have to find another. Yeah, yeah. And I hate interviews. Fortunately, having been in this position before, I have a handy list of people ready to take on the job. Oh well, on to the next one. Thanks for letting me know. The information about your bodyguard should be worth something. Yeah, yeah, all right. Here, take these shards. Now, get out. Okay, so let's talk to Rat now. Blake knows Ryan is dead. Okay, now we wait until he comes to me. I have an idea what you could do in the meantime. How about you go to Doc and get us something to celebrate? Okay. Here, take a few shards. That should be enough to get something from Doc. Where did you get those shards from all of a sudden? You know, shards, they sometimes just turn up. Oh, and tell Doc he should mix us up something special. Just tell him I sent you. Hey, that's Blake coming now. We'd better not be seen talking. Hey, Rat. Blake, my friend. What do you have on your mind? I have a job offer for you. A job offer? Quick to the point as always, huh? So, what's the job? I need someone I can trust. And I heard from a safe source that you are such a person. A safe source, huh? Yeah, you see, I need a new bodyguard. Ryan has become unreliable. Unreliable? Yeah, you know how it is. He has a habit of disappearing. And he's disappeared again. That's not a good habit for a bodyguard. No, no, it's not. 
So, this job, what does it involve? Come with me. I will show you what it's about. Okay, you have a deal. Okay, so you can follow them to see what happens or you can get the camps from Doc. So let's get the camps. Rat sent me to pick up a few chems. Ah, the good old Rat. Yeah, yeah. He said you should send him some of the special stuff. I know, I know, the good old Doc knows. The special stuff, right? Yeah. You want chems, you come to a chemsmith. Exactly. No problem. I will take care of it. Trust the Doc, and I will get to work on it right away. Come back in a few hours. I'll have them ready then. Okay, so let's sleep. To pass the time, so we can get those cams. Hey, hey! I have your order for rat. Be careful with it. <laughs> because <laughs> I outdid myself with this. Have fun. Now, fly, birdie. Fly! Okay, so let's uh, go to Blake's house. I'm sorry, if you're looking for Blake, Blake doesn't live here anymore, friend. If you need something from now on, come to me. I'm the new boss here. Shit, man. What did you do to Blake? Me? Who said the rat did anything? You don't want to believe the rumors about him being staked down and eaten alive by jackals. They're just rumors. Say, wasn't there a time I came to you for money? And you laughed in my face and gave me two shards? That was a long time ago, rat. I didn't mean anything by it. Well, forget your shards. I own you now. Say yes, rat. Yes, rat. See, that's how plans work, my friend. You play the long game. Okay, so Red uh, took over the Blake's job. Welcome back, my friend. What happened? You know, I thought about it, but the bodyguard job just wasn't for me. Looking at Blake, I realized I was much better suited for his job. I just had to get close enough to him when he wasn't here in the fort. And without a bodyguard around. And what do you know, with the things you did and some plans and a bit of luck, that's exactly what happened. You used me. That was your plan all along. Relax, my friend. I didn't use you. I merely aligned our interests to work together. You needed to get Chloe's tribute. That meant ending Blake's protection racket. I wanted Blake's job, and that meant ending Blake. So we both got what we wanted. Blake introduced me to the bloody and showed me where Chloe's shards were buried. You can tell William that Chloe will pay the Duke's tribute from now on. I will cover her outstanding debts. And what about my share? Hold your horses, my friend. You and I are a team, friend, and friends look after each other. If you remember, you gave me 50 shards when we first met. Now, it's my turn to help you. And I'm not just talking shards here. I've got something special. Just don't talk to anyone about this. You'll learn what the claw means when the time is right. Until then, hold on to it. I told you, friendships pay off. And who knows, maybe I can lend you a hand again during your time here. That is, if you decide to join up with us. But now, I have to take care of my new duties. See you around, my friend. Okay, so uh, we can uh, finish this by giving him chem. I have the chems you wanted from Doc. Ah, yes. I only asked for them to keep you busy. You can keep them if you want. I can't touch that stuff now I'm in charge. But hey, more fun for you. Okay, so uh, the next thing that you could do if you're like doing the quest here, you can go to William to get extra experience for doing this since you finished this quest. And then after that we have Rat's Claw, so we can enter the 
close hideout so let's just turn in the quest and then we'll go to rats to the close hideouts and use the rats claw to enter so this quest chain is kind of hmm. a bit know. long uh, but if you're going for outlaws definitely do it even if you already entered the close guild i guess you can still use this uh do this quest for elixir and for experience about these i took care of chloe's debts yes rat came to see me he's paid chloe's debts it seems rat has taken blake's position i have a feeling things are going to get organized now so not just a crisis averted but an improvement that is good work what about my payment profit everyone's best friend here friend profit okay so you get a lot of shards from this and now let's uh, go to dome city and finally enter the close hideout so there are uh, two entryways uh, that you can uh, use one uh, we did in the previous video and now we are going to use this one like the longer path Oh man, I screwed up there. Okay, let me see. I think from this house would be better. <laughs> what? How did I do not get killed the first time and killed the second time? Interesting. Okay. I usually go from upstairs and not from here. So let's try this. Probably to here. I mean, developers probably uh, were, were thinking about it, how you would climb here. The best way to do it. Okay, almost did it. Okay, we did it. Okay, climb. Okay, is it even further up? Okay, I went too far, I guess. It should be under us, I think. Okay, there we go, so I found it. And there should be some rats there. Okay, leave me alone. Hey, there we go. I think there should be one more rat. Should probably equip uh, magnesium torches. combo those attacks at all but yeah it's like really late and my focus is really bad since I had to play through a lot of the game uh, to get to the rat since I didn't make a save game for that and I had to go for from like really uh, early on save game and now let's talk to this guy the claw will be your guide and now we can show rats so you must be the one who helped rat that speaks well of you. Come on through. Talk to Hector. He'll answer your questions. Okay, so there you go. How you can enter the close uh, guild. So guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoy my videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And see you in the next one.